Xperia ZL runs on Android 4.12 Jelly Bean with Sony's proprietary launcher on top of it. The user interface and software features are identical to those we saw with the water and dust proof Xperia Z. The Android 4.2 Jelly Bean update is already in the works and should be released soon. The UI looks and feels snappier and faster thanks to Jelly, Jelly Bean's Project Butter optimizations and the four crate cores inside the shell. Google Now is also on board, as expected. Sony's proprietary launcher has some interesting goodies. The lock screen offers eye candy animations and music controls, while the notification area has connectivity toggles. Sony has supplied many static and live wallpapers, as well as system themes. Switching the system theme only takes a few taps. The home screen panes are 5 by default, but you can add, edit, or remove new ones quite easily. The maximum panes you can have is 7. There is no overview mode like we're used to seeing from most recent Xperia smartphones. The album app, which replaces the default gallery, is here, showing photos in full resolution and offering a nice design with lots of eye candy and cool effects. The refreshed Walkman audio player is on board as well. Sony has added lots of audio enhancement options to help you customize the sonic experience on the Xperia ZL. The video player has been replaced by Sony's proprietary Movies app, which downloads info online and matches it to your movies and video clips. This makes your library look even more awesome, but unfortunately lacks EC3 audio and subtitle support. The only web browser you get with the Xperia ZL is Google Chrome. It works like a charm and syncs seamlessly with its desktop sibling. Finally, there is Office Suite 7, which allows you to view most of the popular document formats. Sadly, you have to pay extra for the, for the full version to enable editing, but there are plenty of alternatives available on the Play Store.